Hello my celestial friends! I'm Echo, the Saving Sorceress, and I'm building my dream witchy wardrobe one third tall at a time. Today I've got some amazing winter finds to share. So it's definitely not winter weather yet in Georgia, but I couldn't wait a single second longer to share my latest witchy finds. I mean, it's almost Halloween, and in my defense, it's getting pretty chilly out there in the mornings when I do my pumpkin check. Pumpkin check. So, most of these finds came from Depop, but a few came from Goodwill. I'll let you know which is which. And now onto the haul! Okay, so I will actually start with one of my very favorite finds. I just can't wait any longer. <laughs> this amazing, gorgeous dress. Look at those moons, those stars. It is the perfect representation of the night sky. There may be only one moon, but in my mind and in my heart, there are just tons of them. You know, let's be honest here. A bunch of planets have moons, so it's totally, it's totally representative of the night sky, just not the one we can see. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> This, it's just, it's gorgeous. <sighs> it's just, it's a dream. It's a pure dream. It's got some lace around the neckline and it's very flouncy. It's got lace at the bottom too and it's just perfection, perfection. And I am never letting it go. I saw it on Depop pretty early on and I was like, that, I need that in my life. But then I was writing back and forth messaging with the seller and she was like, oh yeah, cool, I'll totally get you some more measurements. And I was like, great. And then she never responded to me again because it sold to somebody else. <laughs> and I cried. Okay, I didn't cry, but like, I felt like crying. It was a tragic loss. But then I saw somebody else list it for even cheaper, which just blew my mind because it was already a good deal the first time, but it was a really good deal the second time. So I bought it immediately. <laughs> I was not letting another one of these things get out of my sight. It is just so pretty. It, it's really soft. It's velvety. It's just, it's probably the perfect dress. It's so nice. So I'm just mm, over the moon. Is over the moon too cliche to say about this? perhaps, but I love it. And it actually came with a matching belt too. And what I believe is a matching choker. <coughs> choker indeed. And what I believe is a matching choker, which doesn't really fit my neck, but um, I might get creative with this because it's cute too. This dress is just so much fun. It's originally from the brand BKMGC and it's very flowy, like something out of a dream, which I absolutely love. Here I'm showing off the belt tie. I swear I'm not grabbing my butt, I promise. <laughs> Truly though, there's just something special about long sleeve dresses. I can't be the only one who feels that way, right? The necklace I chose to wear with it, to me, represents the sun, which is really the perfect complement to the moon. I feel like I could wear this dress all winter long. I think if I put some thick tights with it, it would be warm enough to light up even the coldest months. Here's a close-up of the lace along the neckline. It's subtle, but I think it adds a nice fancy touch to the whole look. And here's the lace that decorates the hem, which is simply stunning. It's just a beautiful dress all around. And I know I said the starry dress from my last thrift haul looked like it came from Miss Frizzle's closet, but I think that would be an even better description of this heavenly dress. So, next I've got a black bodysuit. It's sort of, you know, a quintessential basic item for any witch, or any other person who just, you know, wants a basic item. But I love it. It's really cute, it's really soft and stretchy, and it's not, you know, remarkable I guess, but it was like, super cheap. I got it in a bundle of three things for like five dollars total. I was like, 
are you making money on this or are you losing money on this? I still don't know. I hope she wasn't losing any money, but I'm really glad that I bought it. It's great. Apparently has like a tiny rip on it, but you know, I'll take a tiny rip on it for that cheap <laughs> and it's totally wearable. So I am excited. It's really soft and really stretchy and full coverage. I'm a fan. I feel like this bodysuit gives off dancer vibes, so I chose this little skeleton ballerina necklace to go with it. My friend Taylor made it for me. Well, her name is Taylor, but she did Taylor make this necklace for me, and I love it so much. I also added this shiny belt to the look. By itself, the bodysuit could be a little bit plain, you know, definitely basic witch, but I think both of these accessories really dress it up. So, apparently the bodysuit originally came from the brand Forever 21, but it hardly shows any signs of use, other than the small rip in a place no one will ever see it anyway. I think it's perfect for everyday wear, and as an additional piece for fancier looks. Ooh, I just had a great idea for pairing this with a purple and gold glittery skirt that I have. I'll definitely have to wear those together sometime soon. Okay, I'm gonna need you not to judge me because this next one is unique. So I bought myself a gorgeous long purple robe. It's a full length velvety robe and it's got a hood on it. And it's really the most witchy thing that one could possibly ever get. It's perfect for, you know, going and doing some rituals in the woods, or when you're standing over a cauldron working on some potions, or casting a spell, or really just lounging around the house and feeling like your witchy self because, boy, is it comfortable. And this one I actually got for $5. I do not know what they were thinking because this is quality. Like, it could very well be a really expensive Halloween costume, but I honestly think that it's made for more than that because it's like lined, it's got a very nice vintage tag on it. It seems really good. Like I think that the person who owned this was a legit witch and knew what she was getting. Uh, so I'm just, I'm totally in love with it. I cannot wait to show you what it looks like in the try on portion. It's just, it's really nice. It's really cute. It's definitely a bit spooky. I just, um, so good. I wore this adorable little gargoyle necklace with it, which I've actually owned for years. I think I got it at Hot Topic back in the day. And here's the little gem button it has. It's probably the cheapest part of the whole look. It's the only bit of it that makes me think it's a costume. But I just looked up the brand, which is Saint Tropez West, a British company that sells dresses around the 70 to 100 pound mark, so $5 truly was a steal. And the cord that I had wrapped around it was actually a curtain tie-back. But I think it would look really cool if I had a golden rope belt sort of like that. And the hood, honestly, once I put the hood on, the look is just complete. I'm so ready to make some magical mischief. I, I don't want to get out of this. It's too comfortable. It's like... Uh, being in pajamas or being in just the nicest little cozy blanket all wrapped up. So next I've got these suspenders. They're not necessarily a part of the witchy aesthetic, but on me they look pretty witchy I think, and it fits my style. That's what counts. It doesn't necessarily have to fit straight in with the aesthetic, it can be your aesthetic. I can't wait to wear them. I think that they're going to add a little bit of a vintage touch to my looks, which I definitely am going for. Witchy vintage is something I'm really interested in. So these are just about perfect, and I'm glad that I could finally find some in the right style that I wanted. I was really looking for something just like this. I paired these suspenders with my favorite long black witchy skirt and a rather vintage looking top. Well, actually it is vintage. It's from the 70s, but it looks quite a bit older in my opinion. I just love the tiny diamond that holds the suspender straps together too. 
Every detail on this pair of suspenders is delightful. In this outfit, I feel like I'm ready to time travel, mix some volatile chemicals together as a mad scientist, or go blend in with some vampires. Who knows, really? Maybe I can even join Rachel Maxey's Whiskey Grandpa Brigade. I'm up for anything. So a while ago, I actually found this shirt at Goodwill, and I love it. I'm not sure how well it'll show up in the light, but it is a glittery three-quarter length sleeve sweater, and it's just really cute. And you know, a lot of these glittery sweaters, they're kind of itchy, and so they look great, but when you actually put them on, you're like, oh, I regret this. But this one is not that way. It feels really, really soft and nice inside. It's kind of shocking. I don't know how they did it. I think it might be witchcraft. But I just, I'm in love, and it's just, it's really pretty. It reminds me of a night sky, and you know, I'm nothing if not one note about the night sky. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, and no one can tell me otherwise. I mean, have you looked into the stars lately? Go do that. Go outside and do that. It's daytime? Okay. We'll wait till it's a little bit later. But like, you just, you just gotta enjoy the sky. I love the sky. <laughs> and the night sky is my favorite sky. Followed closely by sunset, sunrise, and daytime. I'm really not picky. It's just, it's so pretty. So pretty, such a good little addition, and being three quarter length sleeve is, it's very good for fall here. Cause again, Georgia weather, completely unpredictable. Burning up hot, freezing cold, all in one day. <sighs> yeah, somebody let me know what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. I, I have literally no idea. <laughs> Since this sweater looks like a star field, I decided to add my favorite planetary necklace to it to capitalize on the out of this world style vibes. I also think this sweater pairs nicely with my purple velvet bucket hat for an added bit of flair. You know, hats like these are always good for a bit of a mysterious vibe. The sweater itself is from a brand, Karen Kane, and it's in perfect condition. I'm so glad I found it. It's such a great piece for all of those in-between sort of days. This next one is also from Goodwill, and oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that I found these. They are a pair of boots that I just love so, so much. I think they're a little bit witchy, a little bit vintage looking, just really, really cute boots. Um, I think I could wear them with all sorts of styles, and I am really excited about them. They fit perfectly. I couldn't believe it when I just walked into Goodwill and found some perfect fitting boots that I think will work really well with my entire wardrobe. And when I got them, um, the laces were kind of messed up. Everything else about them is in near perfect condition, but the laces were a bit not great. So I replaced them with ribbon laces and I think it makes them really aesthetic. So I am just so, so pleased, so excited to put these on and wear them with just about everything. Huh, so this is how they display boots on Depop. This is not a comfortable position. <laughs> so now that I've gotten out of that rather ridiculous position, I'm quite comfortable wearing these boots. They're much better for standing up and walking around in. I think they'll go quite well with all of my longer skirts, which is perfect since I'm trying to steer my closet towards more maxi styles. Honestly, they'd look amazing with the purple robe. And the moon dress. And really, well, everything else I got in this haul as well. I have a few other pairs of boots, but most of them are too modern. I needed something a bit more authentic looking. I wanted something that was a classic. And these fit the bill perfectly. They're the ideal match for my current aesthetic. And now for the grand finale. I am over the moon about this one. I've been looking for something like this for ages and I finally found it on Depop. So here it is. A witch hat. The perfect witch hat. I cannot believe I found this. 
it's just so good. It makes me feel so myself and so magical. I just, I love it. It's really, really cute. It's got a wire brim so you can sort of shape it, which I really like because a lot of hats, you know, they get misshapen after a while. Not this one. And it's just, it's everything that I want. The hat of dreams. I do believe that it was previously owned by a cat, but hopefully it imbued its nice familiar powers into it and I can, you know, draw on the cat energy for my future times of need. But honestly, it's just so cute, so gorgeous. If you're a witchy type person, you might already have a hat like this. They are pretty common, but it's just, it's super nice to have a hat that's not just the average Halloween hat, you know, that's made out of flimsy and cheap materials. Also, it's a knit hat and just super comfortable. And it's really warm too, so it's perfect for any sort of fall or winter activities. I just, I will be wearing this maybe every day, forever. <laughs> I love it so much, but you know, it's perfect for bad hair days. I'll definitely be wearing it a lot on this channel because I have a lot of those <laughs> and just, you know, witchy life in general. I am such a fan of this. You know, I can just show everybody, hey, I'm a witch without saying anything. And you know, that's ideal since talking to strangers is terrifying. I really love the way the tip just goes off in such a whimsical direction. It's just, it's me, the witch. It is perfect. Honestly, this hat is so versatile. I know I'm mostly wearing a black and white palette here, but it's a simple black witch hat. It will literally work with all of the clothes that I have. It'll pair perfectly with any color. Plus, I love the ability to customize it. I wrapped the gold rope that I used earlier as a belt with the purple robe around the hat, and it just worked. It looks like it was made for this hat. In the future, I could see myself adding flowers or pins or ribbons, whatever an occasion calls for, and I think it'll work brilliantly. This hat will add the perfect magical witchy touch to any outfit. And if you haven't seen it yet, I also did a witchy thrift haul for fall a few weeks ago, and that's where I got this shirt. It's my candy corn sweater. I love it so much. So be sure to check out that video. I'll put links above and also in the description so you can see it. Do you like secondhand shopping too? Please let me know down in the comments about your latest thrift or secondhand find. I'd love to read about it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please add a like and subscribe for more videos about witchy life, plants, sewing, and saving things, of course. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video, so see you soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save and thrift whatever clothes make you feel your best. Be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. It is a glittery blue sweater. <laughs> wow, words just fail me. Words fail me. I think I just recorded like 10 minutes of footage with this being off. I don't know, but that was bad. Anyway. <laughs>